I will give you 21 tips that will make you a better Eldiver player. Maybe some of them you already know it, but if you don't, it's something that you will learn today. Stay with me until the end, because the last one, it's the better one. Do you know that you can use your auto cannon to close the bug holes? You can use it to close all of them, because if you think, you will have four grenades on your loadout, but with the auto cannon, you'll have much more ammo to close all of them. You can also use it to destroy the factory of the automatons. Many people think that you can only destroy these bug holes or the fuggish rooms with stratagems, but in reality, you can use your quasar cannon, your auto cannon, some grenades, etc. So if you are using one of these weapons or one of your mates are carrying one of them, Use your stratagems for the big stuff. Next tip, when the stalkers are appearing, pay attention in which direction are they coming from, because the nests will be in that direction. So open your map and ping on the direction that you need to go for. Like this, you are also informing your mates to pay attention to not get jumped on the stalkers that are coming from that direction. I retire to get jumped each time you are trying to call a stratagem. I will give you two options. Personally, I'm using a mouse with 12 uh, side buttons and I use them to call the stratagem while I keep moving to avoid that the bugs or the automatons jump on me. You can also use macros, but at the moment I'm not using them. If you don't have this kind of mouse, I will give you another option. You can use your keyboard arrows to configure them to call the stratagems. The downside is you will be able to move forwards backwards on the left or the right but you will not have your right hand to turn the camera around on desperate situation our decisions need to be made call a 500 kilogram bomb or something like that and use the aggro that the bugs have on you to kill all of them around you on defense missions use the mortar sentry and the ems mortar sentry this combination are very very useful because the static one will slow down the enemies while the mortar will finish them just make sure to defend them for the bugs don't destroy it and you will be able to do the mission very quickly and safely in addition of that i used to bring the 500 kilogram eagle because the static one will slow them and they will be concentrated in one area to use the maximum power of the railgun, you'll be to playing on the unsafe mode. Hold R and switch it. Now, if you want to hurt these big bugs, you need to charge it to 95%. At this point, you will be able to shoot it and do some damage on them. Otherwise, the railgun will not hurt them. Be careful to not overcharge the railgun, otherwise you're gonna die. Now, shooting while you are crouched will give you less recoil. I've been testing it in several weapons and the difference is massive. I also try to shoot in first person or in third person and I see also a bit of a difference. Be aware that you can change your fire rate and also the lantern. Just hold your R button and you can choose the different options. You can change this option on your primary weapon or in your secondary or even on your support weapons. This is very important because you will be able to save some bullets or be more precise while you are shooting. Do you know that you will get less damage if you are prone than if you are standing still? This is for the grenade explosions, stratagem explosions, etc. Remember this when your friends will call a stratagem on you. Make sure that you dive seconds before the explosion and you will get less damage. Remember this because it's gonna save you many times. Do you know that if you are using light armor and if you are crawling, you will be able to pass through enemy units and they will not see you. You can do this to achieve some strategic points that you want avoiding unnecessary fights. Normally, I use it when I want to position myself to the fight or if I want to call a stratagem on a specific position. In situation that you have heavy enemies like the titans or the chargers or even the tank, ask your friends if they want to be recalled hot or safe. If they choose hot, just make sure that you launch them near the titans or the chargers or the tanks and they will be able to dive on it and just kill it by one hit. The easiest way to know where the super sample are spawning is to look at this rock, but be aware that you will only find these super samples on missions that are level 7 or higher. When you see a Sith artillery objective, you need to know what kind of ammo you are loading it. Rounded red, it's explosive. Sharpened red, it's nipple. Sharpened blue, it's static. Sharpened yellow, it's smoke. And yellow rounded, 
it will be the mini nook. To carry it quicker, just grab it and release it and as you see, you will move much faster. Normally, to don't aware the bugs around, I used to don't activate the terminal and I put all the shells near the reload system and at the end I reload it all at once. There is some weapons that if you are being chased, you can look behind and just shoot while you run. I call it the run and gun. When there is some units that jump on you, just melee them because they will get stunned and then you will be able to kill them easily. To use your backpack, normally you will want to press 5. That will make you reload it, your weapon, but you can change the keybind if you want, as I'm showing you. Please guys, stop killing yourselves, because medals and samples are shared, so it doesn't matter who we extract with them, because at the end, they will be shared with everyone. So please, stop killing each other. And now, for the last tip, don't forget to have fun and spread liberty and democracy. Before the end of the video, I will ask you guys your support, liking and subscribing my channel because you guys will help me so much. And I see you guys in the next one.